Hello everybody. Uh, I recently posted uh, some videos on YouTube and uh, in the comments uh, it was suggested that I make a, a video about, uh, well, in that case the, the raincoats from that uh, Keen is using. My assistant is already there taking care of the bag so um, I'll just start briefly uh, we live uh, north of the Arctic Circle in Nor northern Norway so uh, we have quite a lot of weather here um, today is actually the first time I've seen the Sun this year from my house so uh, that gives you an idea uh, it, it's not as cold as people think, but still, it's Arctic climate. And as you know, uh, Dog de Bordeaux is a, is a dog with a very short fur coat and, and uh, short fur and uh, doesn't have any undercoat. So they are susceptible to. Uh, to cold weather and uh, also hot weather, but that's another reason. So we'll start with the products that I have here. Uh, right now, my favorite one is uh, non-stop dog wear uh, for many reasons. First of all, when you have a dog as big, as strong as a French Mastiff, uh, you need to have something durable. This one has, is, is, fulfills that criteria. Uh, the outer layer is windproof and waterproof resistant, uh, kind of like a tent, I guess. There is a isolation layer in between and uh, the inner layer is uh, made of wool. Uh, wood is an excellent uh, material because uh, not only does it isolate, but it also transport uh, uh, moist away from your body. Uh, contrary to some synthetic fabrics that uh, just uh, isolate, but doesn't transport any moist. So this is the, the winter coat for Kina. The reason why, why this one is my favorite, it has, first of all, you can put a leash here on the back, or you can hook up here for a color. There is a pocket here, I don't know what's that for, but anyway, it's there. You can adjust the, the liner here at the neck and also at the shoulder, because you can adjust it at the back as well. On the bottom, you will see that there is this mesh that allows uh, any water or condensate that uh, is under the stomach of the dog to just go out. It has a reflecting material here and same on the side and one of the favorite things about this one is these straps they are solid thick so they can withstand uh, even a strong dog like a mastiff so another thing i like about this is that uh, the buckle It's made, made out of metal. So it's it's strong. Unlike some of these plastic things. They come with a bag. Uh, and uh, right now my assistant is doing her best to chew up that bag. But uh, you, you maybe noticed it at the first I have another one here that I use a lot. 
Uh, this one I, I is well almost finished now. It has a very clear color and uh, reflective material, so we are visible in the dark and even in snowy conditions. That's good thing about this. Same as uh, the other one, there is one for leash here and another for a leash through the neck. Doesn't have the same possibilities of adjusting, but you can adjust the neck by this and, and at the back there is none. What I don't like about this is that these straps are thin and easily is broken. So I I have fixed it a few times. And right now this is quite worn so you can see here also it's losing some of its reflecting material. The buckle, plastic, and one of the reasons why I changed it now is that this plastic buckle is almost gone. Other than that, uh, yeah, a little bit improvement and this one would have been good. This one, if there, any, if there is anything I would like to see is, is some more colors, bright colors, like yellow or orange or something like that, to, to make us more visible. Yes. I previously, I had this one, which is really reflective. You can be the queen of a disco in the 1970s. But we are really visible in darkness with this one. Same problem here. The strap has already been replaced and fixed several times. And as you can see, it's, it's worn out by a pulling dog. So uh, my favorite is definitely the one from Nonstop. I have a version 2 of this wool thing coming, hopefully within a week or so. And my dog size is uh, 70. Her back is about 70 centimeters. And uh, this one is perfect for her. You can get this up to as large as 90 and that is probably a great Dane or, or an English Mastiff. It's also windproof of course. Then we go over to the raincoats. This is much thinner. Same uh, maker, non-stop. Uh, not so the same feature here you can Put a lash here, and there is adjusting here. Uh, I would like to see some more solid strings here because these are just elastic bands and they can break easily when you have a strong dog. Same thing with this one good solid straps that will hold. It's very thin, it's waterproof, windproof. And uh, also the same uh, mush here to, to drain. Uh, unfortunately, this one has uh, plastic buckles. So, uh, but apart from that, it's, uh, it's good. Really good. Uh, adjusting adjustment here. And uh, it's so easy to keep the, the dog dry. You uh, you just have to use the towel on their head, their paws, and their tail. The rest of the dog is usually dry, and you can 
or you may have to just try a little bit on the belly but that's all so also more and reflective materials like these linings here and they have the same same one at the back here this one comes in several colors uh, reason why I chose the blue one is that I already had this orange one which is uh, a better color when it comes to visibility they are the same and here you can see the the strap has broken same here size 70 for my dog uh, and you see here it's a small details like uh, reinforcement rings and so on it's a good one as well and uh, not only does it keep your dog dry but uh, in this area there are a lot of horses and if there is anything dogs like to do is to roll in <laughs> horses manure and uh, instead of putting the whole dog in the bathtub you can just wash this uh, cover i have an older one here as you can see it's good colors but broken also a little bit too many velcro things there you can see small one broken this one is XXL for my dog. For those uh, that does not have sufficient uh, reflective materials, there is also an option you can just put this one on. It's easy to, to handle and uh, we'll do the trick. It will show the, make the animal visible and also with some reflective material. So, and uh, okay, uh, mastiffs are susceptible to, to cold weather, but they are also not very good in hot weather. And there is a solution for this. And I have this color here, which you just dip in water and put around the dog's neck. It will cool it down with. Uh, water uh, evaporates and if that's not enough i have another one here which is the same thing you soak it in water and put on the dog and the evaporation will cool down the dog uh, not that we have so many warm days up here but uh, occasionally it's good uh, dog the bordeaux struggle a lot when it's uh, hot outside and this one is size 75 can't see the maker of this but, but quite good so that's uh, that's what i have let's see what my assistant is doing here okay pull time you can try and put one of these on her and see if it it's not easy with one hand, but I'll give it a try anyway. Especially when she's hiding under the table.
and you just put the strap on and that's it. You can see here. You can move freely, and it's uh, easy for her to do her business when we are on a walk. The belly, the, the chest is covered, but the lower part of the belly is exposed so we don't have to worry about that uh, both this one and the uh, winter coat is uh, of the manufacturer non-stop dog wear and right now she looks like she want to go out but <laughs> we've just been out so hopefully this is a interesting video for those who's watching Thank you.